Why Big Time Rush Hated One Direction The comedy Big Time Rush, which aired on Nickelodeon from 2009 to 2013 and catapulted the band of the same name to popularity, was one of the network's most successful programs ever produced. The foursome consisted of Kendall Schmidt, James Maslow, Carlos Penavega, and Logan Henderson. On the program, they portrayed fictitious versions of themselves, while as the band, they performed as their actual selves. The members of Big Time Rush described themselves on the program as going through the same experiences they went through in real life, such as creating songs, going on tours, and experiencing the highs and lows of the music industry. As a result of the band's meteoric climb to fame, the show shifted its focus to the intricacies of the music industry. It provided an honest look at a number of the facets associated with it. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we're going to discuss why Big Time Rush hated One Direction. So stay tuned to find out. Now let's start our video. Big Time Rush At BTR is amazing was my 15-year-old Big Time Rush Twitter account, 5Gs. Amazing. Scott Fellows designed BTR for a Nickelodeon program of the same name. The show lasted for four seasons, starting November 28, 2009. They made three albums, shot a Christmas TV movie with Snoop Dogg, and proved that current boy bands could sing and dance live. BTR's live harmonies and dancing were excellent. Even recently, the band wore semi-matching clothes and danced in unison. One Direction opened for BTR on their 2012 North American Better With You Tour. 1D opened for BTR. BTR is talented. Like every boy band, and ever, they made you feel unique. While filming 74 episodes of an above-average TV program, BTR created most of their second and third albums, rehearsed creative choreography, and made me think guys might be excellent. Without BTR, One Direction would fail. BTR helped boy bands return in 2009. This band brought the skin-tight world jeans, J14 posters, internet fan base battles, and quiffs. It's criminal that BTR is no longer a band. They helped me appreciate the hours I spent online worrying about them. I'd make BTR the only significant boy band if I ruled the world, because they deserve to be. One Direction since hearing What Makes You Beautiful in 2011, I've been a die-hard fan of the English-Irish pop boy band One Direction. I still adore them, even though they took an extended sabbatical in 2016. After five albums, five gigs, hundreds of dollars, and numerous vehicle playlists, to my boyfriend's dismay, it's clearer I'm a directioner. When Miss Wentland argued that Big Time Rush was akin to One Direction, I realized it was time to use my college skills for possibly the most crucial duty of my journalistic career, crafting a well-sourced argument for the guys. The founding members of one Direction auditioned for The X Factor UK as solo performers in 2010. Simon Cowell's brilliant idea to group the lads for the program created 1D. Let's dig into their sheer skill, easy harmonies, and progression between album releases if their record-setting album sales and social media followings don't already speak for themselves. 1D's sound matured and became more unique with each album. Comparing Up All Night with Made in the AM shows this. BTR presented the same stuffy bubblegum pop, auto-tune sound on every track. One Direction was a boy band since its members were teenagers. They evolved with their admirers. BTR launched with adult members. By the time the band broke up, they were an awkwardly aged male band that scarcely connected with teens. Each member's solo career has been successful, from Harry and Niall's favorite albums to Louis, Liam, and Zayn's popular singles. If you're liking this content so far, please consider subscribing and liking our video. Now let's continue. In 2012, when we were first exposed to One Direction, they were the opening act for Big Time Rush on their tour. However, it turns out that BTR wasn't quite as pleased with their fellow band members as they had initially let on. Kendall Schmidt said in a recent interview that having 1D open sucked for them. To put it another way, when One Direction was the opening act for us, the crowd went wild. The fact that there would be 2,000 females outside the performance chanting their songs made it less than ideal for us, even though we were the headliners. Kendall claims that she and the other members of 1D's girl group felt manipulated by their record label. We were touring with them because our record label was theirs, and they wanted us to help them get known in the United States. Even though we didn't think it was right, it occurred, and the rest is history. Since BTR has decided to take a hiatus from the group and 1D has long-term musical intentions, it's safe to say that 1D has seized the limelight. The thing is, we had no idea they felt that way. The Wanted also stated that One Direction was responsible for their separation, even though the band had problems before their breakup. BTR and 1D always gave the impression that they were having a fantastic time on tour together. So we were surprised to learn about the rift between them. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section what you thought of this one. I hope that you found this video interesting. You can subscribe and watch more videos on our channel to keep up with more content. We'll see you in the following video with some more notable celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.